So what did she bring to Jesus? Well, let's look at it again there in verse 7. An alabaster flask of very costly fragrant oil. We could liken this to the most exclusive, expensive perfume that one could buy. It was probably imported from India. No doubt it was a family heirloom. It would have been passed from generation to generation. Just a few drops would cause a room to be filled with fragrance. And by the way, for you cologne and perfume wearers out there, can I just offer a little word of advice? Less is more. <laughs> we don't need to be smelling you an hour after you left on our clothes because you hugged us. Do you know someone like that? They're like drenched in cologne and then they hug you. Oh no, don't hug me. Don't hug you. And they walk away and it's like, oh gee, I smell them hours later. I have a friend who uh, wore so much cologne that when he would use my phone, in my office. I would smell it three or four days later. I won't say who it was, Dennis Agagenia, but <laughs> that's who it was. But a few drops won't do. She takes the whole bottle and pours it on Jesus. Why? Because that was the most precious thing she had. That was effectively her life's savings. It was a complete an act of complete abandoned devotion and adoration. Hey, I have a question for you. What is the most precious thing in your life right now? Probably a person. Probably a loved one. Maybe for some it's a thing. Maybe you drove it in. Uh, maybe it's sitting in the garage at home. Maybe it's a place you live in. Maybe it's your career. Maybe it's your hobby. Whatever it is, the most precious thing in your life have you presented that to Jesus yet? That's what Mary did, and it was a valuable gift. The value of a gift is not determined by how much it costs, but how much it costs you. It cost her everything. 